About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to color grade your videos very easily using Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom doesn't actually accept video files, but there's a workaround through it. And I just found this out um, or else I would have been using this for a while. Uh, color grading has always been the hardest part of editing for me personally and I've been editing for maybe three years now. I never really got it, um, but with photos it's much easier for me. Um, I come to realize that it's because of Lightroom and Lightroom made it so much easier for me to edit photos. And now that there's a way to, you know, do the same thing with video, that's so much sicker, you know? So if you guys go in the description right now, there's something called the IWLTBAP LUT generator. And basically that's what the workaround is. And basically it will generate uh, basically a preset or a LUT uh, for your videos. But yeah, I'm just gonna get right into the video. But before I do, uh, for every single video from now on, I'll be giving away three Lightroom presets of mine. Um, so just comment below and I'll choose three winners. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. So right now we're on the download page uh, for the LUT generator. It's in the description. You can pay how much you want. You can be zero dollars. You can be fifty dollars, depending if you want to support the creator or not. So basically, just download it. So right here, I have it open. Um, you just want to go go to Windows if you're using Windows and then just double click and run it. So the first thing you want to do is create a hold. So let's just put it into right here. I made a separate folder for LUT. Just press OK and it'll create a hold. Basically, you're going to take this hold, you're going to import it to Lightroom and you're going to apply the changes there. But what you will also do is you'll take a screenshot of the video, any part of the video you want to color correct or color grade. And then you're also going to import that into um, Lightroom. So once you make the adjustments to the screenshot, you're going to copy and paste it to the hold. And then once you've done that and you export the hold, you're going to convert it to a cube file, which is basically a lot file. So we're going to go to the desktop. I know it's a bit, you know, full right here. So let's just delete these two. This is the hold right here. So it's basically this rainbow thingy. And once you apply the changes to it, you're going to convert the final product to a cube. So we're going to also put this video in here as well, because this is what video I'm color grading. So you'll see from here. Um, so you want to go to Premiere Pro or whatever, you know, you're using and you just want to take a screenshot. So it depends on your video editor. Obviously, Premiere Pro is control shift E or you can just press export frame right here. Let's go to a lot select folder and we're going to export it. Once you're done that, you want to just import those two, you know, files you have now. Um, so let's press import, select LUT. It should be under desktop. So these two. So you can actually import a video into Lightroom, but you won't see the preview and the adjustments that are made. So it's really hard to determine if it looks good or not. With this, it's much easier. So let's just import this. So go to develop and then apply the changes to the screenshot. So right here we have it. Uh, you can use my presets if you want. They're 50% off just for like this week. So use the uh, code 50 off or you can comment below if you want to win some. I won't use these presets. I'll, I'm going to make really simple adjustments because I don't want the look to be totally different. So we're just going to increase contrast because it's really flat. I shoot raw. You really just want to, you know, make changes to like the tone and the colors. You don't want to really mess with anything that will sharpen the image or anything like that. Or it might turn out corrupted. So I would go to like, you know, hue. Maybe change it a little bit. Make it a warmer feel. Yeah, I'm just going to make basic adjustments. So this tutorial isn't really how to color correct better. It's an easier and better way to color correct, if you know what I mean. I, I think this will save you a lot of time because it's much easier to edit and color grade in Lightroom than to do it in a built in, you know, color grading software. So I think that's about it for me. So this is before and after. Obviously, there's a lot more color. So essentially what you want to do now is press copy, ch check all and uncheck crop because they're not the same sizes, obviously. Uh, once a square, once a rectangle. So we're going to press paste and we're just going to export this now. Go to choose folder and then choose LUT, obviously. We're going to go back, press export. And once it's exported, you want to press on this again and press convert to cube. And basically take that or edited hold and you're going to convert it to a cube file and a cube file is a LUT file. And while we're doing that, we're just going to go back to Premiere Pro. We're going to open up Lumichi Color. So you want to go to window, Lumichi Color, or you can just go to color right here. And you want to go to creative and go to look, go to browse and then select the file. So it should be right here. And there you go. So obviously you can see it is a bit off. The colors are like a little bit darker, but it's really easy to adjust and you can increase the intensity if you want to so something like that. And you can see the difference between this and this. It's very similar. And that was really easy. And, you know, editing photos is always easier than editing videos because it's just a still image. With video, there's so much moving parts and, you know, it's, it's really hard to color grade. So I think this is a really good tutorial. 
And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. I'll leave everything in the description. Comment below again for the presets. And just comment below if you have any questions. Uh, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.